All right, guys, we're on a 22 Ford Edge. Um, this uses the motion sensing prox. It's a five button prox. I am going to use the old prox just to show you the behavior of what it does with the ROM prox. The new prox should end in 4339 as the FCC. Um, and then, like I said, I'm using the old prox here just so you can see the behavior. All right, you can see everything just powered back on. Uh, if you guys need to see what vehicles use this motion jamming or motion sensing prox, Josh Heath's book is a good source for that. He has it listed with part numbers and FCCs. So it's a, one of those must have tools for all the latest and greatest stuff. Okay. Prox is gained. I don't know if you guys can see the prox it goes down here in the slot or in like a little pocket right there it's hard to tell which is also in tips and hints so ignition is off as you can see two keys programmed right there it's in the slot all right here it is see three keys we're gonna hit no then you hear this kind of click I just go ahead on this one and disconnect. Um, if for whatever reason you have the wrong prox, stay connected, go back. I can add key again and it does not use a token. So as long as you're staying connected to the vehicle, you should have no issues. Uh, for this one, I am gonna disconnect. I'm not concerned with it. Go ahead and shut it off. As you can see it fires up there in a the slot. Okay, I did check the battery on this. It's putting out a signal. Remote functions. As you can see, no key detected. So, no key detected. Remote functions still work. But the only way it works is if I put it in the slot and then from there you can start it. So just food for thought, if you get this kind of behavior or the remote works and it only starts in the slot, chances are you have the ROM prox and is not the motion sensing or motion jamming prox. Um, the Edge, the Mustang, there's a few others that went to it, but I believe the 22 Edge was the first one. Again, check Josh Heath's book for reference on that.